I'm Max Sterling. Welcome to LARPgasm. Wow, it's a really shitty day out. But that means it's the perfect day to stay inside and distress some clothes with power tools. Let's get started. So, let's say your character is having the worst day ever, and someone decided to run them through the drill press. Well, we're going to take a look and see what the drill does to uh, different types of fabrics. We'll go and start with the denim. And uh, if you don't have a drill press, a hand drill would do the same. Now we can do this two ways. I can hold it straight, so it probably just drills a hole right through it, or I can just let it go where it winds it up and does it sloppy. So we'll do both ways. Okay, sloppy. Now we're gonna back this out. And so pretty much we end up with a huge hole uh, where the drill bit just basically ripped all the thread right off of it. So denim, we'll go ahead and I'll try to hold it steady this time. So if you hold it steady, it just kind of pulls some of the threads out and leaves a little mark. So nothing too great, but if you're gonna hold it steady, you gotta really make sure that you're holding it. So another way you can sort of distress it. Uh, another option would be to run it up and down the side. So it's just sort of a uh, slightly faster way of putting some little holes in it. So that's the drill press on denim. All right, now these are more like a canvas type fabric. So we'll go ahead and give them a go. We'll do them sloppy first. So, sloppy, big hole. Hold it sturdy. Little hole. Grind it on the side. And finally, a cotton type polyester type deal. We're going to sacrifice the sleeve on this one. So this time I'll try to hold it sturdy, see what happens. It's 
So if you hold it sturdy, it just kind of puts a little hole in it. And then let's try grinding it on the side. And that's sort of what grinding on the side looks like. Now, I also did this for another reason. Now, this drill press is already off balance and kind of messed up, but if you do this stuff, you're probably gonna screw up your drill press. Also, you might break your bit. You can cause all kinds of problems, not to mention you get your hand sucked into here. Uh, these things would whip around and hit you in the face. Uh, could cause all kinds of various damage. So I did this because anyone who's thinking about using a drill press or something to do this, just think twice about it. And if you are gonna do it, I suggest using a little hand drill instead, just because it's a little bit more control. And if it does suck it up, you can just let go of the trigger right away and it stops. This is a lot harder to shut down. Keep that in mind. And uh, we'll go ahead and move on to the bandsaw. So the bandsaw, it can have a tendency to do a lot of the same things the drill press did. So it's going to want to suck stuff down inside of it, which, you know, you may want to try once or twice. But for the most part, it's probably just going to cut it. Uh, so really, it's not going to be that superior to just using scissors. So we'll go ahead and we'll try it on the denim real quick. This way, for the most part, you just don't have to try this stuff on your own because I've already done it for you. So you can see if you hold on to it steady, it really blows the uh, fabric out, which is a good look. So you can try this, but be careful. Uh, the other is just to sort of you know, rub it along it. <laughs> so let's go ahead and do that. And you can see you get sort of a look like that. So, pulled out a lot of these warp threads here. So, definitely a quick way to distress stuff, but be very careful because your bandsaw may want to suck this down inside. And if it does, it could break your saw, you could hurt yourself. So, be mindful of that. And I'm not even going to bother with the other fabrics because they're all going to do basically the same thing. It's either a cut through it or it's going to chip it up like it did. So, that's pretty much it for the bandsaw. Let's move on to the grinding wheel. Okay, now probably the safest out of the three is the grinding wheel. As long as you keep a hold of this, you're gonna be okay. And as long as you're just lightly touching, but just like anything else, it can suck this down inside. So be prepared to break your tools, your hand, or your outfit. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what this does to denim. Now a grinding wheel is good, just like a Dremel is, to do seams. So we're gonna go ahead and hit up this seam on here real quick so you can see what it does. <clears throat> All right, so you can see how fast that frayed that out. So that's great if you're looking to get this kind of look. Let's go and do it on the actual fabric. Real light touch on there with it. All right. Let's go ahead and move on to the canvas type style. See how it works on there. Basically a similar style, similar style effect. And if I did it on the bottom, it would do the same thing the jeans did. Let's go ahead and take a look at cotton. 
We'll hit up the sleeve. And that's caught. Let's go ahead and use the wire wheel and see what that does. <clears throat> So depending on how long you leave that on there, it's basically just going to wear the fabric down very, very quickly. And uh, it'll be the same scenario on the other styles of fabric as well. So that's your grinding wheel uh, with a stone grinder and a wire wheel. So basically, you know, it shreds the stuff. So Max, you tell us not to do anything you just did in this video, so why the hell would you make this video? Well, the answer is pretty simple. I know a lot of you are younger folks out there and maybe you've never used these type of tools or maybe you know you just have never been around tools like this and that's fine there's nothing wrong with that but if you know someone that has the tools or maybe dad's got a wood shop or the neighbor has you know some auto tools next door or something and you think it's a good idea to ask them if you can go in their shop and play around well that's how motherfuckers get hurt so I made this video to help you guys my viewers from making mistakes I did everything here in a controlled environment on tools that are sort of beat up, so they're, if they get damaged, I don't really care. Um, as far as the drill press, as you saw, all it did when I would let it go would just shred it and put a big hole in it. Even when I held onto it, it just put little holes in it, and all of those things should be recreated with scissors, razor blade, or just by stabbing it you know, with a screwdriver. Um, the bandsaw, it cut lines through stuff, which you can do with scissors, and you know, it sort of frayed up the edges on things, you know, which you could do with sandpaper. The grinding wheel, well, you could do that with a file, you could do it with the edge of a saw blade, you could do it with a Dremel. Uh, same with the wire wheel. Just get a wire brush and go back and forth on it a whole bunch. So, there's not really any reason to use the power tools. Yes, theoretically they would make things faster, but the fact that you're more than likely to break one of your tools, at the very least you're going to break a drill bit, you're going to break a bandsaw blade, uh, or something like that, so it's going to cost you money. We're not trying to spend any more money than we have to. We want to put all our money into the hobby, not replacing shit that we break, trying to make costumes. So just avoid the power tools altogether. Even though it may sound like a fun idea and the thought of people getting hit with giant drill presses and stuff seems awesome and it would make this really awesome damage, it just it doesn't. You know, it doesn't. Same way with the gunshot video that I did. I mean, people think that these gunshots are going to be awesome. It's like all burned around the holes and stuff, but it's not. Reality isn't really all that awesome. That's why we tend to gravitate towards fantasy. So in reality, you know, a gunshot wound just puts a hole in your clothing and you're probably seriously injured or you die. I mean, that's not fun at all. Power tools, I mean running the drill press through there, if you're not careful, that thing is suck your hand in with it, poof, you have a broken hand, broken wrist, maybe you even lose that limb. So don't play with this stuff, okay? I did it so you could see what the results look like, you can see in your head that it's not worth it, and then you can just skip over that and stick with the uh, simpler, more safer methods. So if you want to recreate this stuff, get yourself some sandpaper, get yourself a couple files, get yourself a wire brush, get yourself a Dremel, get yourself a uh, saw like a wood saw blade uh, and also there's other tools that you can make and I'll be showing you all of those techniques in a later video but for now let's just stay away from the power tools I'm not trying to have any of my viewers get injured so I hope you understand the purpose of this video now I hope you uh, can appreciate the reasoning behind it and uh, even though when we think about you know dystopian post-apocalyptic and all that stuff we think about all this cool industrial sort of stuff and uh, you know, maybe using these sort of tools to distress things, in the end, it's just not that safe to do. Um, so, please just be smart when you're doing things. Don't do anything I did in this video. And uh, as always, please like, subscribe, 
and uh, let your friends know about these videos. And if you want notifications of when I post these videos, click the little bell. I usually post them every week, uh, sometime Thursday, Friday, Saturday, depends on what I'm up to. And uh, definitely adventure on. I'm Max Sterling and this is my channel. I work here with my old man and my son, Big Hoss. Everything in here has a story and a price. One thing I've learned after 21 years is that you never know what is going to come through that door.